Weaning a piglet means separating it from the sow and switching its diet from breast milk to solid feed. Now this sounds simple, but it is the most difficult time in a pig's life because it is changing from one mode of survival to another, which comes with huge amount of stress that can lead to weaker immune system and sickness and deaths. This in turn translates to loss for we pig farmers. Hi, it's me again. Yeah, Obi from Procrite Farms. Before we proceed, I want to apologize for not dropping a video for so long. You see, we had to rearrange our strategy so that we can serve you better and help you get the best from this channel. So, I did not leave you. I want to also thank you all for your participation here on this channel. You have helped this channel become more useful with your likes and shares. So, don't stop liking and please keep sharing and commenting on these videos. Today, we are equipping ourselves with the secret to successful winning. Yes. I deem this an important topic because the amount of pigs you win can determine the amount of pigs available for sales at the end of the season. Yet this is not an easy period in pig farming at all because it is the time when we get to experience post-winning mortality. So how can we tackle this problem? To get the answer to this, you must first understand what happens at winning. That is, what happens inside a piglet. Yeah. You see, every piglet is born with a digestive enzyme called lactase, which helps them to digest milk. This is fitting since their diet will be breast milk for the next 3 to 5 weeks, depending on how long you want to keep them sucking. So this is how they get nutrients from the sow and keep growing. But after weaning, there is no more breast milk. There is only dry or solid feed. And lactase does not digest solid feed. And that is how the problem starts. Now, in order for the pig to survive, it has to develop another enzyme called amylase, which is the enzyme that aids the digestion of solid feed containing carbohydrates. It is at this time that you, as a farmer, have to intervene because this change is not an easy change for the piglets. It causes them a lot of stress, it weakens their immune system, and only the strongest of them can survive it. So what can you do as a farmer to ensure your piglets survive this difficult transition? First thing is to boost the immunity of the piglet through the parent stock. You see, the successful winning of a piglet starts from as early as when the piglets are born. The amount of antibodies these piglets accumulate while suckling helps to boost their immunity and helps reduce the stress after winning. So, ensure that each piglet gets their fill of cholesterol at birth. You can achieve this by feeding the sow regularly with good feed and essential nutrients to maintain the body condition of the sow throughout lactation. This way, the sow is fortified and gives the piglets the required antibodies they need to survive the stress of weaning. Number two, initiate the creep feeding early. Expose the piglets to dry feed for at least two weeks before weaning. This will help their digestive system to develop amylase over time and help them get used to consuming and digesting dry feed while they still have the breast milk available to them. Make sure that the feed is always fresh and sweet so that it can be attractive to the piglets. Now, unlike lactase, amylase require water to function properly. So make sure you provide clean water to the piglets as early as you introduce the creep feed. For the best results, allow piglets to become expert feeders and drinkers before separating them from the sow. This reduces the winning stress and increases survivability. Number three, maintain care after separation. One mistake most farmers make is reducing the amount of attention they give to the piglets once they are separated from the sow. Meanwhile, this is when these pigs are more prone to infection. You must be ready to continue replacing any necessary care they receive from the sow, one of which is warmth. Make sure to maintain warmth of the pen to prevent cold-related infections. You can add supplementary heat like heating lamps, high-voltage electric bulbs, or whatever is available to you. Remember that their immune system becomes weaker during this period, so you need to avoid anything that exposes them to problems. So keep the pen warm, dry, and clean, free from pathogens. If you have any questions on this topic or in any other topic related to pig farming, feel free to ask me right there in the comments below, and um, I reply all my comments, especially the first ones. <laughs> so thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.